Hey, what's up guys? It is your buddy, your pal. It is the IT Collector. And today is another episode of Turtle Tuesday. So today's episode is gonna have Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise. Um, so this is the movie line um, that NECA um, has created. Um, so they come out with uh, several figures from the movie and then they have um, several figures from the 1980s cartoon. Um, they also have the, the one fourth scale um, from the movie, which is pretty cool. And I think they're starting to come out with the cartoon. I think right now they only have the Raphael from the cartoon version. This type of version, um, they have it in this large 18 inch uh, one fourth scale. Um, but other than that, they have this uh, movie line, which I think is the coolest because I like movies um more than cartoons i guess but uh, i just like how how detailed they are um so first things first about the box it has a traditional uh four ninja turtles like their logo their movie poster that they uh, did back then in the 80s and then um they have the pictures of the actual um action figures um in in certain poses and uh in different sequences there as you can see um, and then each side just has a picture of the the character, an action figure picture of them. And there's a Raphael in disguise. Um, so if you remember um, from the movie, that's where uh, Casey Jones, or uh, Raphael, runs into Casey Jones when uh, Raphael went out in disguise and uh, they, ran into, they fought each other in the park. So pretty cool scene, classic scene if you're a fan of the movies. Um, but now you can re recreate that yourself uh, with these action figures. Um, as you know, they come with the accessories, um, and I'll, I'll go into that into detail a little bit right now. But um, the box itself, um, or this this uh, two pack, is a little bit hard to find, um, and I believe it was around sixty dollars, so about thirty dollars a figure. Um, now it's it's been out for a while. Um, these came out in 2020, so you're probably gonna pay aftermarket prices. But hey, you might get lucky out there. Check your local um, toy stores, comic book stores, that type of place, or like the the swap meets, collector swap meets, and all that. So happy hunting. But yeah, let's take a closer look at what comes inside. All right, so here we go. It's nice and open, and so far I am impressed. This year, these are very good detailed uh, figures, but uh, first things first, how tall are they? Um, because a lot of people are saying they're six inch, including myself, but if you look here, Casey Jones is a little higher than uh, seven inches, just a tad, tad uh, about seven and a half inches, a little closer to that. And of course the Ninja Turtles are shorter which is good because they made them a little bit to scale so i like that um and he is around a little over six and a half inches um so he's just a little shorter um but let's take a look at the accessories and details of the actual figure so there's casey jones so i noticed that some people took off his mask and he looks crazy under there but uh, i'm good with leaving him like that um <laughs> look at the detail of the hair on his chest um very cool looks straight straight replica from the movie that's why i love this so much i love collecting action figures because of that just takes you back to that point there's his shoes the pants uh, the same outfit from the movie and of course all of the accessories so here you have um hockey sticks i'm not sure what's the, if they're actual um, why that one's so big I'm not uh, big on hockey so I don't know maybe that's a goalie one um, and then as you can see there's the little golf club in there which is pretty cool uh, he comes with several sets of hands different hands um, that you can switch out to um, and then of course he has his uh, two bats that he uh, definitely knocked out or knocked uh, knocked over Raphael if you remember in the movie and of course his cricket bat and the bag to carry it all so very cool figure excellent detail um now next is Raphael in disguise so look at that you can't get any better than that i think they did an excellent job looks just like the movie um and of course he comes in his uh, turtle disguise and his nice accessories this is a cloth cloth um trench coat 
his is not his is regular um, you know rubber or plastic or whatever um, but as I mentioned very good detail and there he is so he comes as well with different set of hands different uh, bandanas and of course his hat so you see the hole there so you can uh, wear the bandana sticking out of the hat he comes with his his uh, classic size as his weapon and of course a nice pizza it looks like uh, mushrooms and uh, bell peppers on there <laughs> anywho um, very cool figure love the detail excellent well done so there you go uh, now that you took a closer look at the accessories you can tell this is very well made and uh, pretty cool um, it's up to you if it's worth the money they are pretty pricey for um, they're not toys they're definitely meant to be displayed but they are, uh, I want to say, high quality. Obviously, they're not like hot toys or any of that, but we're not talking about hundreds of dollars here. But they are pretty cool. Um, so if you're lucky enough to get them in stores, by this time, maybe not. But either way, they're, they're worth it. If you like the movie and you, you, know, you grew up with this uh, nostalgic of uh, the Ninja Turtles. So very cool figures. And um, don't forget to subscribe for more Turtles um, that are going to be released every week. Um, I'm putting up my collection and also um, don't forget I collect other things like the Simpsons, Star Wars, Predator, Transformers, uh, all kinds of uh, stuff from that era. So I hope you enjoy it and cowabunga!